The Institute of Medicine calls on healthcare professionals to increase a BMI or body mass index checkups on patients. This comes as the nation is losing the battle of the bulge. SNN Local News 6 reporter Grant Boxleitner takes a closer look. When you typically go to the doctor, some things you get checked are your breathing, your heart rate, and blood pressure. But what about the BMI? The body mass index, or BMI, is a long-standing health indicator to measure whether someone is overweight. And with the obesity epidemic growing, there's a national push for more physicians to check BMI like vital signs such as blood pressure and heart rate. That's a sign that this person's got a lot of extra weight on them. Mark Davis is the director of staff at Charlotte Regional Medical Center and is also an orthopedic surgeon. He says knowing BMI can help patients realize there's a problem. A lot of people think that they're normal health and then when they look at their BMI and it says that they're morbidly obese, it's kind of a wake-up call. We're also much less excited about operating on someone who has a BMI that's greater than 40 because we know that those patients are going to have a much higher risk for complications after surgery. Charlotte Regional's Wellness Center is a place to exercise and help prevent health problems. Director of Wellness and Rehab Services Oscar Gamble says that starts in part with managing your BMI. The reason being is because there's so much of the research and the data being tied to it as far as uh, correlation to many of the disease processes that we're battling. So we know if you have a lower BMI, statistically you have less chance of stroke, heart disease, um, diabetes. Right now Jim is going to show me what my BMI is. I've never had this tested yet, so this will be interesting. Okay, first we're gonna do is head up on the scale. For my height and weight, my BMI came in at 24.2. So I am in the ideal. Ideal cabin. is anywhere anywhere between 18 and 24.9. Wellness Center coordinator Jim Norton though cautions that the BMI number doesn't always tell the whole story. Also a big thing to look at too is insurance companies use these numbers and they use those BMI numbers. And I remember when I got my health insurance, um, my life insurance with my family, they wanted to know what my uh, BMI was. Well, they had height, weight charts, so they went through all this thing and they showed me overweight. But I had to explain to them that I do exercise and that this is very important as far as getting an accurate number. But many health leaders say measuring BMI more often and is an important step in the fight against obesity. If I'm driving my life and my health, why would I not want to avoid a statistical uh, uh, hazard like having a high BMI? If you're curious what your BMI is and your doctor doesn't give it, you can certainly ask to have that as part of your everyday health care. Reporting in Charlotte County, Grant Boxleitner, SNN Local News 6. And in case you're wondering, a BMI number of 30 or higher is considered obese. Some healthcare systems have already made BMI checkups part of their regular care.